Okay, today's video, we are taking the Helcota to clean off all this rubber. That's how we're gonna start off today's video. So rather than make a mess here, I'm gonna go pressure wash it off and just be easier. So rather than try to clean it off here, I'm gonna go spray it off with the pressure washer and then we will pick up some stuff from the store and then we'll come back. So the rules of the car wash say no bucket washing, no detailing, but it doesn't say no cleaning off of excessive rubber. So <laughs> let me clean that off. That's pretty much the only reason. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna wash it here. I'll wash it when we get back, but definitely gonna spray off that rubber. Okay, so we got most of it off. That was kind of a rip though. It was uh, $3 for five minutes and that thing was like, had the pressure of a garden hose. So we got quite a bit of it off and then uh, I can wash it better later today. Okay, so now it's time to wash both trucks off properly. All right guys, so both trucks are in here and clean and it is nighttime, but I will catch you guys the next day. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what still needs to be done to the trucks, kind of what the plan is. And I probably should give these things a bath at some point. These things are just covered in the filth from just wrenching on both these trucks continuously, doing all the fab work on this and dust and everything. Both of these cars are just covered in it. So at some point I gotta clean those, but Tomorrow, I'll talk about some of the stuff that we still need to do on these, and we will continue. Everything seems all right. I found this pretty cool spot, Whiskey Joe's. You can literally just pull up here and there's a restaurant and drinks and all that stuff. Some sort of party going on across there. Pretty cool little spot. Do you think it's beach? Pardon? Beach? Do you think it's like... Well, maybe it is touch and bottom because it doesn't seem to be moving much. Yeah. All right guys, well, I don't even know where the beginning, middle, and end of this whole video is gonna be, but right now, we went out after the hurricane and went boating, because it was just way too crazy and stressful. Got my buddy, Brando, over here. Right now, we got the Helcoto we're about to take to a car show. Brando's over here, playing with his nuts. <laughs> There's one more that we need to get off uh, to change the condensers, so. Shout out to my boys, whatever it takes, Transmission Parts. Uh, they're sponsoring today's video. And if you guys need anything drivetrain related, they're your boys. I'll link them down in the description. Shout out Boosted. Call them, tell them Boosted Motorsports sent you and call the number and link down below and they will get you hooked up. So we're actually gonna be doing some stuff we'll probably document later on uh, in another video because I'm just gonna be vlogging because this week has just been absolutely just off the rails as far as what we're doing. So my buddy drove this down from Canada, his diff failed, so we're gonna be rebuilding that as well and we'll get into this whole project. But right now we're just trying to get some working AC. I've got a brand new Mopar AC condenser and we're gonna try and sneak it out before we go to the car show that way we're not uh, swimming in the Helcota on the way there and back. And uh, hopefully this holds a charge. If you guys saw the last video, it had a little pinhole leak and um, those are 13s. So we've got the four bolts out that hold it. 
We need a 13 here, and then we should be able to take off the two lines, get the new guy in there, and uh, go from there. All right, so new condenser is in. We're pulling a vacuum. I checked it, it's actually holding vacuum. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the AC in just a second and hopefully we have working AC. This looks so much better, you guys. I didn't realize how crusty the old one looked. Like this really freshens up the front. Like if you look at, <laughs> Brandon's about to pull it out here. Look at it. Look at it, we're putting dents in it already. That's so crusty looking. What do you think, Brando? Toss her. Oh, I think it's garbage. Garbage. Wait, you're not putting that back on there. No, we're putting it back in. I'm gonna fix it and put it no, back on. No, <laughs> okay, so compressor's on, drawing into the system, and then we're on can one, and then we should be moving on to can two in a minute. A lot of JDM stuff, but I don't know if you guys are uh, JDM car stuff fans, but this thing's got a little bottle in the back. Brandon's checking it out. A few domestics, but we'll see what we see. Ooh, check this out, you guys. Kind of similar to what I'm thinking, but pretty much tired back here. Got skinnies in the front. LS swap with a huge single. Thing is ready to party. Welcome to Florida, baby. No hood, no bumper. No hood, no bumper. Huge old velocity sound in this thing. It's actually pretty cool looking. <laughs> Exhaust straight out the hood. Heck yeah. Exhaust sticking out. Clean little Supra, 2JZ swap. Okay, so me and Brandon are over here trying to find oil. Normally, I would get the mobile 15W50, but this is the second Walmart we've been to and it is out. So we'll see if we can maybe stop at another one, but this is a, we in the gets right now. This is a fake ass Walmart. <laughs> oh look, we got one bottle. <laughs> okay, Walmart number three. I found four jugs, I'm buying four jugs. So pretty much the Helcota takes two, the Viper takes two. So I need four of these for two oil changes. Okay, so it's actually the next day. And like I said, just all kinds of little things I need to get done around here. These two vehicles definitely need an oil change. So we picked up the oil. Like you guys saw, we were running around trying to find this oil. So both need an oil change. So I'm gonna go ahead, swap out the oil. Not a whole lot to see there, but I'm sure you guys do wanna at least hear a cold start on this because this thing sounds rowdy. The camera does not do it justice. I'm gonna let it warm up for just a couple minutes and then we'll drop the oil in that pan. Okay, drain plugs out and that is draining. I'm gonna let it kind of just trickle because I'm not in a hurry. And then we'll proceed to change the oil filter. I do always use OEM oil filters, you guys. So this one here is Viper specific. It's kind of cool if you guys uh, have ever bought stuff like this or you guys are new to Mopar stuff. The higher end filters, like this one literally says Viper on it. It's a specific spec just for this car. And then the one that goes on this, it actually says SRT on it. So when I change that oil in just a couple minutes, I'll show you guys the other one. So this one says Viper, that one says SRT, pretty cool. Okay, so I ended up taking out the old filter, put the new filter and got the oil drained. There's really not a whole lot of room under there, you guys. So I just went ahead and did it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil to this. 
while this drains i'll fill that i also was messing around with uh the headlights on the viper if you guys do or don't know the headlights for some reason are going for some astronomical price and a long time ago i upgraded the bulbs because the original bulbs uh you could barely see anything when you're driving and i ended up putting in an led high beam bulb from a certain company i won't name but it got stuck in there <laughs> i couldn't get it out for the life of me whatever strange tabs that they use i could not get this out of here and this was probably i want to say three years ago or so i put this in and i could not get it out i tried multiple times to get it out would not come out so i took out the frame i was able to use a little pick and release the tabs and thankfully turn it and remove it because this thing has been stuck in there for years so obviously i'm not going to reinstall this it is uh probably a superior bulb in the sense that it's brighter but if it gets stuck in there that's uh no bueno so probably gonna order some different bulbs for now i'll try to just throw in some factory bulbs at least uh they won't get stuck in there and i might comment down below what i'm thinking about doing is the projector itself actually has some screws on it so i'm thinking i might upgrade this projector at some point i know it's a a mod that some people did in the past where they would unscrew this from the housing you wouldn't like you could always return it back to stock but upgrade the projector on these so we can get some better light output put an actual hid projector or something of that nature in here so we get better light output because uh, this is some old school technology here and it really doesn't have that good of light output but let me know uh, if there's some viper people watching or if you guys would be interested in seeing that project later on okay got the dakota under some wood Okay, and last thing we're gonna drain is the oil cooler. It has its own drain as well. So we'll drain that one. Quite a bit of oil in there, you guys, in the oil cooler. All right, so drain plug is in for the oil cooler. Now it's time to fill both of these up with oil. All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap for this video, you guys. Did the oil change on both these. This thing is absolutely filthy, as you can probably see. It needs a bath. And just another update for you guys. I did finally get a PO box, so we are gonna start doing mail time again. We used to do it before when we were a much smaller channel, but between the move and all that stuff and just trying to crank out that Hellcat swap RAM, I just haven't had the time to set one up. So I did, in fact, set up a PO box for Boosted Motorsports. So I will link that down below. So you'll see it down in the description. I'll also pin it to the top comment. So if you guys wanna do mail time, if you guys think there would be anything cool that we can open up on the channel, you guys wanna send anything in, the PO box info will be down below. So thanks for watching guys. We're gonna start cranking on the videos. I got a bunch of small things. We got a bunch of things to tidy up with the Hellram, the Dakota. We started to finish the door panels on the Dakota, finish a bunch of little things on the Hellram. So lots of stuff on the way. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We're back on schedule. We made it through that hurricane and we'll see you guys on the next video.